Hey y'all, Joe here this afternoon, Southern Coastal Cooking coming at you. Got a wonderful cook. Y'all follow me, watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook some magnificent ribeyes. Bone-in ribeyes, y'all look down here. These ribeyes came from Matador Prime Steaks and they are absolutely out of this world ribeyes. I'm telling you what, they got bone-in, uh, they're about a pound and a half a piece or so. I mean, these things are amazing. Always getting really good stuff from Matador Prime. Now I put a link to where you can order it in the description box, but we just want to get these ready. Look at the marbling on that beef. That's absolutely amazing, y'all. And what I want to do is do a tried and true method on these. Um, first off, like I always like to do on some beef like this, get a little duck fat. Uh, that just gives me a little, first a layer just to hold some seasoning on there. But we don't want to go do too crazy on any seasoning. Just have a lot of natural good flavor. We're going to uh, use this Fogo, their uh, original seasoning here. They call it the rub. It's a charcoal seasoning. Very, very good stuff. Tried this on steaks and stuff many, many times. Some good stuff. So, what we're going to do is put a little bit of, of the Fogo on there. All right. On this side, we'll do the other side just the same. Oh my gosh. No, this is the smell. This stuff smells amazing as well. We'll put the fogo on there. Then I'll come in with some of this Heath Riles beef rub. This stuff is really good. This combination, I am telling y'all, is something else. So we'll put a little bit of this beef rub on there. Like I said, you don't want to overwhelm these steaks, but you do want to just get this good flavor profile here on the outside of them. Absolutely amazing. And uh, just pat that on the other side just the same. Let them sit on this wire rack here and just let that oh the marinade just kind of bleed into it look at the marvelous look at that spinalis i mean that's wonderful and go ahead and just hit this other side here real quick bone in ribeye i'm telling you what it is hard to beat this cut right here and i was hoping actually when i got this pack these steaks were sitting on top of each other i thought i had one big huge thick one so I kind of have my mindset on I was playing this video, but then I open it up and it's two. That's fine. It's making it a little bit easier to cook, actually. But um, I was thinking I had a big old tomahawk or something. But uh, this is fine right here. We are just going to sprinkle this in and let that just, that rub just set in there for a little bit. And I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do for sides and everything like that. But y'all. This is gonna be so, so good. Y'all stick with me. We're gonna have a feast. Y'all for a side, we're gonna do some nice grilled vegetables. Let me show you what we got here. I got just some uh, zucchini squash. And basically what you wanna do is just gonna kinda of slice it right in half. Just like this here. And we're just gonna make some, some good little slices with this. This'll be really good up there on the grill. A real sharp knife here. Gonna go down just like that. All right, and just, we'll just kind of grill that up. That'll be really, really nice. Let's see. Let me do this best way to go. This is really. Let me wash your fingers there. Doing something like this, but. Uh, all right, so we just got some slices of zucchini squash, just like that. I'll get those out on the grill. We'll just grill that up. That'll be nice. That's a little bit thick on that one. Just pull this knife down here, just clean that out just a little bit. All right. And then my special that I'm wanting to show y'all is we've got some wonderful field-grown tomatoes from Callaway Lawn and Garden right over here by my house. What we want to do with these, let me show y'all. You want to take them. We just take the bottom right here, all right? If y'all can see that. So we just kind of just flatten that out just a little bit. Barely just take that off. Just kind of want to sit flat. And then you want to cut your nice thick cut. Just about like that. This tomato. We'll go ahead and make up this first one for y'all so you can see. Isn't that beautiful? With that, let's cut them a little bit more even. And then we'll sit even on the grill. All right, just like that. We'll take that tomato, and then we'll take some 
Nice fresh mozzarella cheese. Alright. Do the fresh mozzarella. And you want to put that slice of that good fresh mozzarella right there on top of that tomato. And you could eat it just like that raw, but then we want to put that on the grill. Oh man, put a little pesto on top of there. In fact, we'll hit it with a little bit of this Fogo season. This goes good on the vegetables too, so we'll hit the, the zucchini with it and a little bit on that pep on that tomato. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. So now we're gonna make a base for these steaks, all right? You start this base out with a tiny little cup there. And now I'm gonna take this oyster bag, I'm gonna take some oyster bag company, um, some of their purines or pyrans, the, uh, it's a compound butter seasoning. But first I'm gonna take some of the St. Elmo's uh, Steakhouse seasoning. A little bit of salt in it, this is some really good stuff. I'll put just a little bit of this Steakhouse seasoning in there, all right? Right there in the bottom, all right? I mean, just a, just a touch, just about like that. This is the compound butter seasoning I'm talking about. This stuff is amazing. It's got some freeze-dried herbs, garlic, and all that kind of stuff in there. I put a link where you can get some of this, but anyway, we'll put some of that right here in here. All right. About a, here. That's good enough, right there. All those herbs, they put a little bit more. All right. And you see all those herbs and everything else. It smells wonderful. So then we'll take some lean parents, some rooster shear sauce. Put a little bit of rooster shear in there. All right. Just right over that. All right. And we're going to let this sit for a little while. And basically, what this is doing is rehydrating all those herbs and everything like that. And that's going to make that wonderful compound butter here in a little bit. So now we're gonna get the grill set up. Got some Fogo Premium Lump Charcoal. I can last my Fogo. Use this good stuff for good cook like this. Now, I've got my Vortex sitting inside of my kettle. It's not in direct center, so to the side for this cook, I want that. Uh, just simply because the steak's a little bit larger, I kinda of wanna use the indirect method. So, let's try to pour some Fogo in there. Good lump right there. Good stuff. We can get that evened out. That's gonna be good. That's what we want. And we'll like that in just a few minutes. But that's how we want a charcoal there. Now, for a grill, we're gonna use this Aurora. This grill I've been using this cast iron grill. I'll put a link where you can get it and vortex, whatever. But you'll put this sucker right on top of that cast iron and give it. One heck of a good little sear, sear marks, and cook those steaks well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this grill lit up here in just a second. All right, that's how I do it. Got my blow torch right there. That's how I'm gonna burn the camera up. So we'll just use that for like this photo. I got those coals lit loose, let that settle in here just for a little bit. So that Fogo is ready to rock and roll now in there. You know what we'll do is just put these bad boy steaks on here. And over here, set them down, put that fat cat toward the center. Just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Look. And let them go in there a little bit. I got a little piece of cherry wood, throw that right over to Fogo. And we ready to roll, y'all. Oh, just let that wood catch fire there just for a second. Yeah, I'm gonna put this lid on. Go over this way with it. And uh, let it go. I'll check in about seven minutes. How's that sound? All right, y'all, we've reached 110, 115 in the steaks. That's all I'm looking for right now. I'm gonna take them off for a minute and just set them like in the oven with the oven off. Just to stay warm, we're gonna cook the vegetables now. We'll steer these in a moment. Some butter melting over here. Remember that uh, seasoning that we hydrated? Go ahead and put that over there with that stick of butter and let that melt. All right, that's gonna be for the steak and the veggies. 
here in just a bit. But we'll just let that melt there for a minute on the side of the grill. Now I'm gonna take my veggies and we'll put these on the grill. So I'll move back here just a little bit. And just kind of lay these around. Let these go indirect for a little bit. And uh, let the veggies cook, y'all. This thing's gonna be really, really good. But you want your grilled veggies, you know, along with, with all your good steak and all that be on this. So we can just set some of these around here. You now these tomatoes, you know these bad boys, we got those too. I got some look at some onions. Put some onions in there. This will be good grilled onions. All this stuff's gonna be real good. So I got all the veggies going down. I'm gonna put the lid on there. And then just let those cook. Let that just cook for a few minutes. We'll check them out to about four or five minutes. After all this has been going a few minutes, I got a little pesto. This is some basil pesto. I just bought this in a jar. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this on these tomatoes. So I can working wonderfully with the tomato and the mozzarella. A little this pesto. And uh, oh yeah, that's gonna work good. Now I'm gonna butter the zucchini and everything else here in just a second. I'm gonna just flip it and we'll butter it, okay, with that drawn butter combination. All right, so let's start flipping some of this stuff. Simply kind of. A... Oh yeah, okay. This little stuff, and we'll just butter the other sides of it. And oh, this is gonna be so good, y'all. Telling you what, just flip it all over some of our. Oh yeah, it's a great man. It's making some good little sear marks on the onions and everything. Go ahead and take some of our strong butter mixture that we made. All right, I'm just gonna butter these here like that. What we want. Everything's full flavor. Mm, even the onions. Oh yeah, you just want to kind of be careful you don't get too close to the vortex because you don't want it to flare up on you. Get the zucchini is good. Strong butter mixture. That's some good stuff, y'all. Oh, 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 say that. Come on, get back over there. All right. All right, put that back on. Let that go a few more minutes. Some good stuff, y'all. All right, y'all, at this point, I tasted the vegetables. I want to put a little more seasoning on there. I'm going to use some of this Justin Wilson's Cajun seasoning that I like. You can put whatever you want, but I just think that'll kick this squash and zucchini, or the zucchini up a little bit. Tomatoes, everything. I'll just put a little bit of this on there. Cause uh, it's a little bit, a little salt, a little something on there. You know what I'm saying? But this stuff is good. It's cooking right, getting really nice. It's gonna have a really nice flavor profile. Do it once it's done. Get that on there a little bit on the tomatoes. Oh yeah, that's nice right there. All right. Kick that up and let's give it a couple more minutes. Let's all be done, y'all. Right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the vegetables off now. I think they're done. And we'll get the steaks on here and sear those. We'll take the uh, zucchini off first. Put that down here. Mm. This stuff's good. It'll be really good. Especially along with that steak and everything else, you know, just a little side, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. It's all. See what? These onions right there, just like that. Yeah. Be careful you don't lose these onions because they're trying to bust apart. I see that. Come on. Alright. And these tomatoes. It's gonna be kind of tricky. I mean, not so bad. Sits tomatoes on there. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that big beauty right there. Isn't that pretty? All right. 
Oh, I knew we were going to have a casualty. One of them. That's bad. Okay. All right. We'll let this grill get hot. And then we'll go to sear the steaks. Boom. Clear, uh, sear these steaks. You got the vortex one right there. I'm going to put a steak on. I'm going to do a minute size sear. All right. So, set timer for one minute. Okay. I'm do a minute on that side. Now take it off, set over the side, lay it rest while I sear one side on the other one. Meanwhile, I got this butter over here warming. All right, and I'll show you all in just a second, but that's good. That vortex super hot right there, getting the sear that you want right there on the steak. That's key. It may not even take a minute, y'all. I'm serious, this stuff, this is hot. That vortex really really get some heat going. So I'm going to check that real quick and run over here and get my tongs. Look at that. Oh yeah. I'm going to set that aside. Look at those sear marks. Isn't that beautiful? Set that over here. We'll go with the next one. That was only about 30 seconds or so that it took over that flaming hot vortex. Alright. Won't take long. Set that bad boy down right there and let him get a sear. Meanwhile, on this other one, we'll paint him on this side with some of this good butter, compound butter mix. That was my timer for one minute. All right, and just let that sucker sit there with that butter on top. Okay, here's my timer right there. All right, we just gonna play this by. Oh man, that's, this, that's something else. I mean, that thing really sears it. Look at that. Look at that, I wanna get a pick. Try to get a pick somehow how that thing sears. Right there. Hmm. So, hope I got a couple picks. All right, that's good, seared on that side. That's all we really need, all right? Set that one side over here, y'all. Look at those perfect sear marks. I mean, just rub some of that on there on the top it's the drawn butter right and then i'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a plate or something put these on here in just a second all right so now i'm gonna pull this one back over here let this other side get seared all right about 30 seconds or so you got to be careful because you got that drawn butter on there you don't want that to catch a fire but i mean this thing this, this vortex with this fogo in here is just a searing machine Amazing how it does that with those, those grill marks and everything like that, and just so quickly. Oh, this would be great for sous vide method, you know, for your searing. I mean, this sucker will just gets it going. All right, and that's probably about long enough. That there, y'all. Look at that. I'm gonna take him, set him over here. Look at that. And right while he's just sizzling like that, go ahead and get down with some of that drawn butter. Again, on this side. All right. But you want all that party right there to go. Now, I'm going to drag this other one over the flame. Take that down a little bit. All right, right there. Let go and just sear that other side, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to grip my thermal pan. I just, I'm curious about the temp inside this steak. 115, 117, 118. May let these cook in direct for a minute. Back to the sear. I don't think it'll hurt them. But, I mean, that puts the hurt, I mean, that puts the sear right on that steak for sure. With that vortex just like that there. That's about all we need. I mean, that, that's super fast sear right there. I'm going to flip this over, just like this, all right? While that side's still sizzling hot. And go ahead and get some of this gone butter mixture on this one as well. That's where that flavor party right there. So... I'm going to over here, set that down for a second. Let me set it where it's hot surface is going to hurt anything. I'm take the temp on it. From 14, 15. I wish I could almost see inside that. Let's let these go just for a minute. Just kind of heat up just a little bit. I think they're going to be fine. Just give it just a minute or two. What we've done is like a supercharged reverse sear with that vo barbecue vortex with that fogo lump just like an afterburner right there so it'll take long to get that sear.
She's reading about 125 now. That's perfect, absolutely perfect. Go ahead and take them off. If I can find my tongs over here. And, uh, oh yeah. These shakes, these bad boys are done. Get these off, let them rest here on the cutting board before we cut into them, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Those are some beautiful steaks for this CMR. It's just unbelievable. All right, y'all, let's try this absolutely wonderful Matador Prime steak, these vegetables, everything else. This looks amazing. Um, what I'm going to do here is just kind of cut this bad boy right off the bone. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go ahead and just put that there. I'm going to kind of turn it. We'll just slice it. Little slices right back here. You know, zoom in so y'all can see what's going on. Hopefully. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty. Look at that. Just like any little steak you see these professionals cooking. I mean, this is magnificent. I just kind of fan that out. Look, look at that. Look at that, that. I mean, perfect temp. That is a beautiful, beautiful steak. There with these wonderful tomatoes, everything else. That's what I'm talking about. I got a picture of that, y'all. I'm sorry. That, that's gorgeous. All right. Okay. Just, just look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That is beautiful. Deep, rich red coloration. So well, now let's, let's just take a bite right here. The marble in this steak. It's just really, really good. We can give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. I like my little prime. Flavor explosion. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. And the, the grill wants you to taste that char on there. It just did it just excellent. Oh, let's taste these vegetables now. So let's just taste one of these little tomatoes. A little cheese piece coming off there. Fresh tomato. Been out there on the grill. Mmm. 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 A springtime flavor. Mmm. It's coming through there. Tastes a little zucchini. That's nice. Grilled zucchini. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't get that to the steak. That is an absolutely wonderful piece of meat. I'm gonna cut this off here. It's just piece of just a little bit of fat on there. Try to try that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Juices are amazing. It's a beautiful color on this beef. If y'all haven't tried my new prime, you gotta give it a try. I'll put a link to all the stuff I used to cook, like that grill grate and the vortex and all that. That did awesome. Thank y'all so much. Again, special thanks to Fogo Charcoal as well, my new prime. And Aurora Grill Grates and Vortex. Appreciate all y'all. Y'all please like my video, sub my channel, God bless, and y'all have a good one.